here we are at Dubai Airport. One of the major consequences of the coronavirus pandemic was the shutting down of airlines and airports. Basically travel was at a complete standstill. But now with the easing of travel restrictions, people are beginning to fly again. So we are here at Dubai International Airport, one of the world's largest airports, to show how things have changed. Let's take a look. So let's look at the start. First of all, people who enter the airport are only allowed in if they have a valid ticket and their flight is within four hours. What's important for the airport is to ensure social distancing and that there is no overcrowding happening at any time. I have to admit, it's refreshing to be in an airport again. You know, I know a lot of people are on necessary flights to go back home, but just to have that possibility of exploring the world <laughs> Maybe. All right, so you know how they have vending machines for food and drinks? In Dubai Airport, they have a vending machine for personal protective equipment. So like masks, gloves, uh, sanitizer. If you've had to rush, forgotten it, or you need an extra one, they got you. And now the exciting part of going to check into your flight. But before you get there, you have your thermal scanners. And before you get there, you know, just in case there's a queue, you have these areas for social distancing, places to stand to ensure that there's safe distance between people. So yeah, let's get our uh, temperature checked to ensure we can go in. So very important what happens here. This is the checkpoint. Now, if someone comes through and their temperature is low, they are good to go. They can travel, stay safe. Now, if the temperature is high, an alarm goes off. Then they are asked to be checked with a manual thermometer. If it is still high, they have to go to a quarantine area, wait for 10 minutes, and then they are checked again. And if they still have a high temperature after that, the medical staff are called to check on them and make a decision on whether it is safe for them to travel. And for that 10 minute waiting period, they come here to an area that's just been secluded off so they can sit comfortably as they wait for their next check or if they have to wait for the medical staff to come and do a check on them. Next is the check-in area where you come to get the seat for your flight and all the check-in areas have been fitted with this plexiglass to ensure the safety of the staff and the safety of the passenger who is checking in. So where are you traveling to, sir? Oh, San Francisco? That's nice. So, so far, there's already been three significant changes, whether it's the construction or the way that you come in with regards to checking your temperature or barriers. And we haven't even reached immigration yet. That just shows you the level of changes that have been made even before you've gotten anywhere close to your flight. It's incredible. Now we are at immigration and what you're starting to see around the world is the increase in cashless or touchless experiences. And here at Dubai, they have the smart gates. Now this is nothing new, but the use of them has increased significantly. So if you are a local here, a resident or a certified passport holder, you can use this smart gate and get through to your flight smoothly. I don't even have a boarding pass. Come on, man, come on. So now if you don't use the smart gates, things are still safe if you want to use the traditional immigration counter. So let's take a look at how that's changed. So first of all, the queues, all social distancing, always. That's pretty much like automatic now. You're gonna see these stickers everywhere that you go, especially in the airport. And as you can see, here are the immigration counters and each of the immigration counters have been also fitted with the same uh, plexi barrier that you saw in the check-in area to ensure the safety of the, uh, the staff and the person that is interacting with the immigration officer. So everyone's safe. You know what I think is interesting? Is like, you know, whenever you'd go to a check-in counter and they'd say, take off your hat, take off your thing. Now it's like, take off your mask, sir. Hi. Now is the security check. Probably one of the most important areas of an airport to ensure the security and the safety of passengers and all the flights. Now here's what happens. There's a lot of contact when it comes to putting your things on trays. So they have staff that clean it after every single try. And more importantly, the Dubai police who are staffed here have probably the highest level of personal protective equipment because they're so close to each and every passenger to ensure everything is secure. So they've got basically every single thing under the sun protecting them and ensuring that they're safe. All right, we have done uh, the check-in, we have done the thermal scanners, we have gone through immigration, we have gone through security check. Now, we are at the famous Dubai International Duty Free. This is where Sarama says, okay, I'm gonna go this way, you go that way, and I'll see you at the flight. 
and that's pretty much where I really start to get the So here we are. The thing about the duty free, it hasn't changed much. It's all the subtle stuff that you see. Obviously everyone's wearing their face masks and their gloves. There is a sanitizer at the entrance of pretty much every single store. And there's the stickers around to ensure which way the people should go to ensure that social distancing is maintained. And that's nice to see that there's some normal experience despite everything that's changing around us, you know? So these are all the rules of shopping. One box per shopper. Masks are mandatory, ensuring your distance, and follow the signs so that there's no one, you know, running into each other. I like it. And now the eating experience. First and foremost, before you get in, sanitize. So there's all these signs that you'll see around here. So here's, it shows that the table has been sanitized. So basically they're doing around the clock, just making sure everything's clean and sanitized because of the footfall that you have coming into this restaurant. So here we take our table. Now, as you can see, the first thing right here is that this table has been sanitized. Very important to also note that the table next to me has a different sign that said that this table needs to be kept empty. So it's not just the table beside me, but also the table behind me. So this is to ensure social distancing, even when you're eating at a restaurant before you take off on your flight. So I made the critical error of telling uh, the kids that I'm at the airport and the first thing that they said is Candylicious! Because we come here every time we come to Dubai airport so Getting a couple of treats here, all good stuff So now I'm at the departure seating area Now look at how things are organized First and foremost there's barriers between each seat And the next seat on either side of me is always kept free So whoever comes and sits here has social distancing so when you arrive at Dubai airport today, the welcome is a bit different. It's still met with generosity and kindness and welcoming, but more importantly, it is met with your safety and security at the highest point. So everyone that arrives in Dubai has to be clear of COVID-19, show a negative COVID-19 result. So they might already have a test that gets approved and they're allowed to go. If not, they have to come and get a test here on site at the airport. Let's take a look at that process. So we are here at one of the check-in points before immigration and what happens here is all the information is taken by a Dubai Health Authority. And what happens here is they get all the information, they get a name tag, a name tag is placed on this test bottle, the test bottle is placed in the biohazard bag and then they are cleared to go through immigration. So every passenger, once they're checked in through the first checkpoint, they have to download an app, which is the COVID-19 Dubai testing app, which puts all their information and that's where they receive their test results. So now that we've gone through the check-in point, passed through immigration, now we go on to do our COVID-19 test or what they call the PCR test. This is the last stop before we're allowed to go through the, the doors and this is where we get our test taken. So here we have approximately 20 booths that are all manned by medical staff to give everyone who comes here a COVID-19 test that is done in five minutes or less and then they are clear to go. Then what happens is within 24 hours, they get the result on the app that we showed you. And I guess at this point, it goes without saying that if you have a negative result, you are free to go out and do what you need to do. If you have a positive test result, as with everywhere in the world, you have to quarantine yourself for 14 days and get tested again. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Dubai International Airport coming back to life after everything had stopped. And for me, it's refreshing to see that people are starting to have confidence in being able to travel again, to go home, to come home, to go and see the people that they love and that they miss. And for me, building that confidence for people to travel again starts here, at the airports, their first point of contact before they go anywhere. And I am proud to see the airport, famously known around the world as DXB, leading the charge to ensure our safety and our security to take to the skies again to travel to the places that mean the most to us, to the people that mean the most to us, and to bring us all together again. Much love and God bless you all.